going on international men's day happy daily motivation day six what's up guys today i want to bring up what it really means to be a man um and i'm not saying i know uh completely uh it's a topic we need to discuss and it's something i'm always working on in the trenches with you but what i know for sure so many men have had this wrong belief about what they think it really means to be a man and our culture in america speaking has really turned toxic and very narcissistic more self-centered and i see it, it's ugly heads have sprung up through twitter so many dudes men of various ages from you know teens to 30s and 40s and beyond the millennial in that in that age group um, really I think is the worst and I think we need to get a clear idea of what it actually means to be a man not what we think it means to you know be um, powerful or follow quote unquote the people spouting off what they think it means to be a man in a toxic way right there's a lot of just being blunt there are a lot of of sociopaths there's a lot of psychopaths there's a lot of narcissists there's a lot of fucked up dudes and men on twitter that are successful that are pushing out content some good but in bad ways sometimes and you really 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 want to be careful who you follow and listen to because you don't want to end up leading a life Becoming a sociopath, becoming a malignant narcissist, that does not lead anywhere good. It might seem like it, it is when you don't care, you have power, you feel like you're invincible. But the reality is that's not true. When you're really most invincible, when you're, when you're most powerful, when you're happiest is when you're productive, it's when you're peaceful, it's when you're protecting and providing right? For your woman, your partner, for your family, your community, yourself. And you don't get that by leading a self-interested, selfish, egotistical lifestyle, all right? You really don't get that. And I think there's so many things that we can talk about, but I've just noticed more than ever on Twitter, there's a group of guys, there's so many dudes, so many people talking in ways that are just so off-putting, uh, very selfish-centered ways that uh, we... we us men, we really need to, the ones that at least got, got halfway decent and the ones that are leading a, a right life better than these people, we need to really outnumber. We need to bring back what it meant, what it means to be a good, honorable man, what it means to be, you know, chivalrous, what it means to be a provider, what it means to be, you know, a leader in a positive way. It's not about what you can all gain by being a leader, by being in control. It's about what can you do and give back for others. So that is my message today. Get a clear idea. Get a really, really clear picture of what it means to be a great man to you and live that. Hopefully it actually is good. Hopefully it's synonymous with God. It's doing his work. It's doing good work. It's living to serve others. It's, it's you know, enjoying yourself but not being so stuck in the opposites of you know pleasure and, and things like that and being so wrapped up in your self-interest that you lose your humanity. I don't want that to ever happen. I was going down the wrong path years ago, really, really wrong path. And you know, towards that all about me kind of life and what's in it for me, what can I gain, not really thinking about other people. And it's not the route you want to go. It trust me, it is not the route you want to go. And I think there's a lot of guys who are on that fence. They're really on that line. They're edging. They're towing that line between good and bad. And I hope that this hits you in the heart and jolts you and makes you realize, man, you have a choice every day for how you live. And that is going to determine how the rest of your life goes. Is what you do every day. And if you're a bad person with ill intent, and even if you don't have enough good intent, you're going to get you know mediocre results by default. And I don't want that to happen. I want you to have a great life. I want you to be the best leader. I want you to step up into the version of uh, how you see yourself living, you know, the best version of what it means to really be a good man. Um, and that always includes, you know, protection, honor, chivalry, honesty, courage, commitment, uh, integrity. If you can live with those characteristics, you'll be able to go to sleep and lay your head down on a pillow with peace of mind every night and real 
long-term happiness, real satisfaction, real productivity, and fulfillment with your life. If you like this message, uh, hit a like, join in the conversation, use hashtag triple M for millennial men movement, changing the way that we view ourselves as millennial men and giving ourselves a picture of how we can live. That's what the movement's about, uplifting each other, helping each other become the best versions of ourselves. Let's take advantage of today. Use the hashtag International Men's Day, Millennial Men Movement, and let's go out and have a great day. Great Thanksgiving week ahead. Talk to you guys next time. Stay motivated.